Okay, we got that stuff. Yeah, see, they're all stuck out there. Sucks to be you guys. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Don. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Discovery Update. And in this episode, we are going to get our Electro Z Dome thingamadoodle set up. Um, and we're going to probably try out some of the uh, weapons, the higher tiered weapons. And yeah, just kind of do stuff like that. So um, I don't have a whole lot of time to record this, guy, So it's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode and probably not going to have a lot of editing in it, just so you know, because um, I just got um, short, uh, short of time in real life. So... Uh, that being said, let's just jump right in and get started. Now, um, on Friday night, which was last night, today is Saturday the 22nd, I did a live stream of the ex the new experimental branch, and we had had a lot of fun playing that. We played it for, I don't know, about five hours or so. And uh, there's some cool stuff uh, in the new experimental branch. And so when I'm finished with this series, I'm probably going to move over to experimental branch until they come out with the next uh, update for stable that's kind of the tentative plan at least at this point so just kind of giving you a heads up and if you guys want to catch me on live stream i am going to be live streaming on friday evenings and saturday afternoons moving forward um all mountain time uh okay so let's uh, get rid of our bloom and the very first thing we want to do is get going on uh, an electrodome and then i'm gonna do i'm gonna rearrange all of this stuff out here too but i probably won't do that during this episode because here again our time is kind of limited so um all right let's go into the f2 menu we're going to go to uh, defenses and we want to do a z shield so this is all of the stuff that we need for a z shield so let's go ahead and grab all of the stuff out of our thing here we get all the ingots we'll do one stack of everything else as usual Grab all of that. Grab one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Even though we probably won't need that. We might, though. I don't know. One of those, one of those, 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 and those. Let's see. This is lead, lithium, magnesium, mercury, nickel, molybdenum, tungsten, silver, tin, and oh i guess we already got tungsten okay so i think that's all of the ores very good now let's also grab um some tech components too since we know we're going to need those so we'll just have some circuit boards some power cells some wires and some plastic and some rubber and some glass okay now we're super weighed down but we should be able to make what we need to make. So let's go back out here. And we'll go right down the list. So now the first thing we need to do is make some talonite. Three in particular. So let's queue three of those up. Yeah, experimental's fun. Um, some things that they've added. They've added like a little buggy that you can fix up in the early game. And then have a vehicle drive around, which is really cool. Um, they have... The worms are back. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful going out into the dunes. The giant worms are back. Um, and let's see, what else did they do? Uh, there's there was there's several changes that they made, but there's also some some pretty bad bugs that we ran into too. Um, you know that I'm sure they'll fix as time goes on. All right, so we need. Let's go back into here because it doesn't tell us exactly what we need. Oh, the cool thing about the buggy too is that you you can put an upgrade on it that lets it run off of what was what is effectively biofuel which means you can put you know like like weeds and stuff in there or branches or animal parts and it'll run off that it's really cool it is really cool anyway uh what are we doing we're looking for defenses uh so we need an electrum and a dimalloy those are the two that look very similar to one another so it's very difficult to tell which one's which when you're just looking at a picture of the icon be kind of nice if they changed one of them so it was more obvious. But I think that the dime alloy is just a little bit darker, I guess, than the Electrum. But again, it's just very difficult to tell that uh, looking straight out. Now, as far as ingots, we also need a nickel chromium. So let's just make that now. We'll get all the, the ingots or alloys rather out of the way first. 
Okay, so now we need two zirconium and three zirconium plates. So let's make the... Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Yeah, we have to make... Can we do those in here? No. We have to make the zirconium thingamadoodles in here. In the chemistry table. Okay, so let's make a couple of cubic zirconias. And I think, you know, now that I think about it, I think the plates require these two. So let's let's just queue up a couple more. There we go. Relax, Mr. Krabs. Okay, so we need a cast iron and we need a steel. Now we can make the zirconium plate. Let's go back in here and queue this back up. Oh, we need three zirconium plates. Okay, um, so two more cast iron. And two more steel. And two mag magnoliums. Or two more zirconium plates. Okay, so that means that requirement. So, um, we still need to make a battery and a zirconium circuit board. So the battery is going to require... Uh, two power cells and something else. I can't remember, but the, I know we need two power cells for sure, so let's make those right now while we're here. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I just finished um, a live stream of Satisfactory multiplayer with some friends uh, this afternoon and had a lot of fun. If you guys are interested, come check that out sometime too. Alright, now to make the Zirconium circuit board, we're going to need... Oh, for Pete's sake, we're going to need three more zirconium plates and a, another battery. Okay, so let's do, let's, we, now we need, no, we need to make two of these. So let's queue that one up and we got to make two more of these and another electrum. In fact, I think we need two electrums. All right, and then it said three more of these. So that means we need three cast irons, three steels, three magnoliums. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now let's go back in here. Make another battery. Okay, now, uh, oh, we needed a Zerk alloy too. Okay. Back and forth, back and forth. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that you kind of set up your habitat so that you could reach your forge from the inside. I can see where that would be a really useful thing to be able to do. There we go. Now we can make the zirconium circuit board. Those damn things are expensive. Holy crap. Okay, let's go back to defenses. Z shield. Do we have everything we need? Uh. Wait, what? Here, hold on a sec. Yeah, we do. All right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to set this up in such a way that it's going to cover. Um. Here, let's cancel that for a second. So it's going to cover as much area as possible. Well, I, I no, let me rephrase that. It's going to cover things in a sensible way. We don't really need anything out here in the shield because we're not really spending any outside time there. So we really kind of want to make, you know, have the dome 
Here, let's turn this on. We want to kind of have, basically have the dome covering as much area out here. Oh, for goodness sakes, cut it out. Uh, let's... Let's just quickly harvest Mr. Krabs and get him out of the way. You are in the way, Mr. Krabs. Uh, it's still... Experimental still has the issue with, um... Having to harvest the crab's head first before the body. So just FYI on that. There you go. Okay, so here again, what I was saying is we don't we don't need to get behind the base here. We just there's no reason to. So there's no reason really to have the dome covering things outside the base. Because the monsters don't damage the structures, right? Um we don't necessarily need to have it come out here either so much but I'd like it I'd like the border of the dome to kind of cover this you know th this flattish area in an arc like that if that makes sense so we could probably get away with placing it um honestly I'd kind of like to place it right where the cactoid is but you know we can't we can't move the cactoid unfortunately what if we did this though if we go to defenses can we fit it down in this little slot here no it isn't gonna let us do that because it's gonna need looks like it has a fairly wide hitbox hmm well we could stick it right here it's going to go further that way and not as far this way as I think I would like it to go, though. We could put it right where the HUD is, because we don't need the HUD anymore. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. That is not a bad idea. Let's get our spanner out. Okay. We do want to make sure that it it covers at le at the very least, you know, our, our ramp here. Okay, yeah, let's put it. Let's go ahead and put it right here. I want it as far back as it'll let me put it. Right there. Whoa, lag spike. Okay, uh, requires solar panel. So I think that our current little solar panel doesn't have enough juice to power this. So we're going to set up... Um, uh, we could set up a large solar panel or we could just set up another... I think we're just going to set up another small one for now. All right, so let's take a look at that. Uh, oh, we need to make the thing in here. What does it take to make a large one? Let's just look at that really quick. So, utilities. Large solar panel. So, it's going to take all of that stuff. I mean, why the hell not, right? We've got the stuff for it. So, okay. So, let's do s steel. That's a one or two. I don't know. Let's make two. We're going we're gonna to use it steel one way or the other. I didn't uh, queue that up either. Oh, and a nickel chromium. Okay. Utilities, large solar panel. Oh, that's not that big. Maybe what we could do is put this here. Use shift to fine tune it. Trying to get it as far back as I can. can. Okay, so now we have a large solar panel. And it's covering the range. It's within range of that. So can we turn this on now? 
There we go. That was a little laggy. Okay, so this is this is pretty good actually. This is pretty good. I like this. So it goes far enough over here to, to cover our entrance. And it covers this whole flat area out here that I wanted it to. And yeah, I think this will work. Okay, so if you guys don't know, this, the shield, we can pass through the shield ourselves, no problem. But monsters can't pass through it, and you also can't shoot through it. So the shield will stop, um, you know, projectiles. Now, I don't think the droids can come through the shield either. Unless they fix that. But we can take our own, you know, our, our own, you know, mechs and stuff like that through here. But see, Mr. Krabs can not, not get to us now. <laughs> but we can't shoot him either because the shield stops it. Now, there is a smaller version of this, just the Electrodome, not the Z version. Um, which is cheaper to make, but it, the dome is not as large on it either. So there you have it, guys. That is the dome. I mean, it's it's going further back this way than it actually needs to. We could have we could have even held it out. But the thing is, is the the ground starts to get all janky there anyway. So there's not really a whole lot of point in putting that behind the shield because I don't really want to build on it anyways. The more I think about it, the more I'm inclined to to just pull this whole habitat out of here um, because then what we could do is we could set up you know a bunch of fuel tanks in this area it's not really a big deal to me right now to continue looting those crates because I mean we got lots of stuff but anyway all of this storage here is going to come out um, and the, the stone walls in fact we can take the stone walls out now I'm not ready to do the storage yet that's something I'm going to do off camera anyways because you guys don't want to watch me do inventory management for an hour. Well, some of you might, but most of you probably don't. So I wouldn't want to watch me do inventory management for an hour. Well, I might. I don't know. I'm going to watch it anyway, so I don't have a choice, right? Okay, so let's remove these. We don't need them anymore. Um, and... Okay. So what, I, what I'm thinking... We're going to... If I end up taking this out... Hmm... Ah. If I end up, well, see, this this rock is going to be a pain in the neck. We can't do anything about that rock. It's th it's there forever. Um, and this setup is working for us, so I might just leave this as is. I don't know if I'll do anything different at all with all of this stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to take all these storage crates out. We're going to replace them with the larger depositories. Um. And I'll probably, hmm, I have to figure out how, where I'm going to put those depositories. I'll have to think about that. But then I would also like to set up fuel tanks, uh, or I shouldn't say fuel, I should say gas tanks, uh, over here, line them up, and then fill them up with one of each type of gas so, you know, we have them on hand if we need them for something. Because we have a lot of space over here. This is This is actually really good space. This could be... We could use this for parking things, though, too, uh, as well. So the only thing I'm a little bit undetermined is exactly what we're going to do with our storage. We could... I mean, I can always move stuff. The problem with doing that, one problem with doing that is if we dismantle something, we don't get all of the materials back. We only get a portion of them back. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Okay. So anyway, that takes care of the dome. Now, um, let's spend the rest of this episode uh, testing out some of the some of the higher end guns. Okay, so no, 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 no. Don't get that spanner out of your hand, man. You're gonna ruin something you don't want to ruin. So what I want to do is, we're, let's just skip the assault rifle altogether. Ha 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 ha! You can't get in here, dickweed. You are stuck outside forever. So, I'm interested in the Cobalt Assault Rifle, maybe, uh, but probably the Heavy Assault Rifle instead. And then there's possibly the Azure Rifle. So, we need to make rifle magazines. See, that takes gunmetal. That's 
kind of expensive considering that tin is very rare. By the way, uh, the new experimental branch has more tin on the map, just so you know. You guys are probably happy to hear that. I want to make the cobalt bolt rifle too. I don't think this does any more damage than the normal. It's just more durable, so it doesn't wear out as fast, I think. I'm not 100% positive, but I think that's the case. Um, so I'm thinking the heavy assault rifle. Because the Azure rifle, I mean, it's going to do 60 damage, give or take 5 plus 20 critical hit, which isn't bad. But it's going to cost gunmetal to make the ammo, and I just, hmm, I don't know if I like that idea. Not with such limited 10 resources. If we go here and we make the T21s, these do 120 damage. Whew! Plus 10% critical hit. These do 60 plus 10% critical hit. These do 58, but require diamond and steel. These just require normal... No, these... Rec okay, so yeah, we would have to make the, the heavy assault magazine first. Right? And then we have to add that with tungsten. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. That requires three heavy assault magazines. The A51... Okay, hold on a sec. The A51, it says this is an automatic rifle. How does... What does this one say? That's also an automatic rifle, the C-19 heavy assault rifle. So I don't, I guess I don't know what the difference between the C-19 is and the A-51, unless this is considered, I'll, I'll bet you this is considered the Cobalt version, which means again, I believe it means it has more durability. I think that's what's going on here because all of the rest of these are the Cobalt variations of the, you know, of the normal guns too. So I think that's what the deal is. Okay, so let's make this. We need a battery. And uh, so for the battery, we're going to need an Electrum and two power cells. Okay, so we're going to make that first. Let's get two power cells here and an Electrum in here. Okay, got that stuff. Yeah, see, they're all stuck out there. Sucks to be you guys. I love it. Okay, now yeah, let's make this. Um, I also want to make the cobalt bolt rifle. Uh, but we're going to have to make another battery for that too. Okay, so let's put this here. Um, the cobalt pistol... We have we can do the reactor pistol fires a highly charged blast. And I don't know. I don't know. So one of you guys were telling me that if you make the better ammo, the pistol is is also, you know, packs a pretty good punch too. So we might play with that. But right now let's focus on the heavy assault rifle. And I also want to make the cobalt bolt rifle, which means we need to make yet another battery. more power cells and another electrum okay so now let's equip the this let's gonna put that in the slot three it's kind of hard to see it because it's dark out if we go in here can we see it better it's very blue looking Oh, yeah. I like that. That's cool, man. Okay, let's make some ammo for this thing. And then we'll test it out on Mr. Crab and his friends. Mr. Crabs and his friends. Okay, so to make the T-19 assault rounds, that's 40 damage, 10... What's the... Wait a minute, what's the T-19? 
I'm confused now. That's the C-19. How do we make the T-19? That's the A-51. I don't even know what the T-19 is. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Well, let's let's do this. Let's make some heavy assault rounds. So we're going to need steel. So let's just make, I don't know, like 12 of these. See, this ammo is expensive, but I mean, if it, if it one-shots everything we shoot at, then, you know, kind of worth it. I suspect it's pretty much going to with doing that much that much damage. All right, so we got the steel. Um, now let's make. So this requires three per. Okay, so let's make. We're just gonna make one clip of this to start with. Okay, and then. Oh, we need tungsten. Didn't I grab tungsten? I thought I grabbed tungsten. Isn't that great? Those guys are stuck out there. They can't get to us. Oh, it's a beautiful feeling. We can no longer reach over our chest and nip us in the bud or butt. All right, let's make one of these. This is expensive ammo, man. There's no question about that. Okay, now let's load this up. can't I'm really heavy here let's see if we can reduce some of our weight we'll put the journeyum in there and put that in there uh, and all these alloys that's we're still at 126 percent way I want to be able to to maneuver a little bit better while we're fighting these guys that can go there, and I guess we can put the cobalt there. Oh, you know what, though? What? Oh, that's food. I do want to make that uh, bolt rifle, too, so we're going to need cobalt for that. Let's make that really quick. Well, I can move a little better now. I'm still encumbered, though. Oh, another thing they did is they... Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Uh, don't like that so much. Um. Anyways, they dumped down the speed on the agility buff. Yeah, wait. Uh, hmm. Might have to rethink that. I'm not going to worry about it now, but I might have, to, might have to rethink that. Oh, we came in here to make the cobalt bolt rifle. Um. Oh. We need to make a battery first. I forgot to make the Electrum. Of course I did. Of course I did. Did I forget to make it or did I forget to pick it up? I forgot to make it. Don't worry. We're going to go out and blow those guys in to pieces here in just a second. Okay, make a battery. And make a cobalt bolt rifle. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's put this other bolt rifle away. We don't need it anymore. Thank you for your service, bolt rifle. And now we got a cobalt bolt rifle. Look at that thing, man. Very cool looking. It's even got like a reflex sight. It should have a scope on it, you'd think, but maybe not. I don't think we have special bolt rounds for the bolt rifle. It's just... Straight up the bolt rifle. All right. Let's go shoot these guys. So we... Yeah, this is one-shot kill, man. I mean, it better be for how expensive this ammo was. Hot damn. Okay, we have two shots left. So, yeah, there's basically six shots per. But if this is an automatic rifle, I mean, I could spray and pray too. But, my goodness, that would be expensive, wouldn't it? You don't really need to. I mean, one, you're going to pretty much one-shot anything, I think, with this. Maybe not a Colossus if you hit it like in the, uh, you know, like in the armor. But, 
Yeah. Okay. So the only thing I'm not happy about, you know, with the dome, like, is the fact that it's kind of cutting into the barracks. I'm not sure what we would do about that, though. If we... If we, we could move it over here, we'd have to redo the furnaces. Oh, I wonder if it would fit back here. It might. It might, actually. We could put it there. Okay. I'm going to try that later, though, because, again, I don't want to mess with it right now. You're one shot dead. Look at you, man. Oh, this thing is devastating. Devastating. It damn well better be for how much it costs, right? Okay, so is there any other... Or rather, are there any other weapons we want to try out? I mean, we could try the pistol. Hold on a sec. So we could try the heat pistol. I don't really like the charge rifle. I've seen it in action and honestly not impressed. Um... There are heat cells. The cryo rifle might be fun to play with at some point. Uh, oh, and then we have the reactor pistol. I'll tell you what, guys, I've got to go. Uh, in real life, that was my wife texting me. Uh, so let me know in the comments if there's another gun, another weapon that you'd like me to also try out. Um, based upon your knowledge of it being, you know, a good weapon. And uh, let me know that, and then we'll, we can make that and uh, try that out, too, um, in the next episode. But, yeah, like I said, I have to go. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. In the next episode, I have no idea what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out, okay? <laughs> uh, we, we have a space station that we need to make. We need to go to Azil. Those are two, you know, big, big ticket items that we still have to do. Um, so, you know, those things will, are, are coming up. Oh, and I want to make, you know, I want to make the mech and some of the other vehicles, <coughs> excuse me, and, you know, demonstrate those to you as well. So, uh, yeah, but I got to go. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.